Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to go over how you can add some customization to your dashboard including changing the look of it and even adding a background image to it. Because right now, you know, I've set up this dashboard that shows, you know, wages by, by different jobs and, you know, it's kind of plain looking. It's just on a white background using the default theme in Microsoft Excel and, you know, let's say you wanted to, to change this. so. There's an easy way to do that. And if you go to the page layout tab, there's an option to select from different themes. So if I click on this, you know, you can scroll over these, hover over these, and to see what the different effect of all those different themes would be. So you can see if there's there's a certain uh, look and feel that, that you want, you know, you can easily switch over to that and, you know, decide, okay, you wanna keep keep that theme or, or switch to one. So it's really easy to, to do that. Excel makes it really simple. So even if like, let's say I like this one, this one's got a nice blue uh, look look to it. And you know, you want it to change um, just one of these things. You can still go ahead and do that. Just go ahead and modify um, the colors. You know, each theme has has access to colors as well. So you can adjust this even further if you wanted to. Um, depending on the theme you've you've selected, it might have a different, uh, the color scheme may be a little bit different, but you can do it that way, or you can also change it manually as well. So you've got options to change colors here, as you can see. So you can do them one by one, you can make the changes in here. So there's a lot of different ways of, as, as to how you can customize the look and feel of your charts. You don't have to be stuck in those defaults. Again, just go to page layout, you look at themes in here. You can even look at colors within here to, to change it further. You've got, you know, different fonts that you can use. You know, if you've got buttons, you've got different effects that you can apply and things of that nature. So as you can see, there's a, there's a, lot, a lot of ways where you can easily make these changes. So you don't have to be stuck with just the, just the default one because, you know, oftentimes you create a dashboard and, you know, you may not think about, you know, applying those modifications because it might, might seem like it's time consuming, but the reality is that just by using the themes option here, you know, it's it's really quick to apply custom themes and you can just go with one that you like the most and then just maybe make, make slight modifications to it that, um, you know, is gonna be easier than changing every chart or every, every visual that you've got on your dashboard. Now, another thing you can also do is that a background image. So on page layout, there's an option for background. So if I click on this, you'll see I've got multiple options here. I can I can browse from a file on my computer. So if I've saved a file that I've got uh, that I want to use, I can do that here. Uh, I also have access to my OneDrive, so I can browse again from files that I've saved. Or you can even use a Bing image search. So let's say I just want to search for a white background. I want to keep it simple. And we're going to do a search on, on Bing, and so it's going to give me uh, it's going to populate some images for me that um, that I could potentially use for for my dashboard. And so what I can do is I can expand this out so I can get a better look of the images. And so you can see these. I specifically put white just because I want to use something really subtle, not not something too too dominant. So you know I can select something like this, insert it in the background to see how it looks. And as you can see, it's applied that to, to my entire, to my entire sheet here. So uh, as I've got this dashboard set up, it's all the images are above this background. And so I use the white background um, just because, you know, my font and everything is, is black. So it'll blend easier. Now this item here, this one is white, so I may want to change that one. But <clears throat> the one thing to, one important thing to consider when you're selecting these images is, you know, you want to make sure that you're not selecting that something that's terribly complex, has a lot of moving parts, um, like if it's got people in it or a lot of different objects and colors, you know, might be dark on one side, light on another side, and that can make it, uh, make it difficult to adjust your chart so that they look exactly how you want them to, to look. Because obviously the main main thing about a dashboard is it should be easy to read. It shouldn't be, 
you know, the focal point shouldn't be your background image. You know, um, you, you want to focus on the chart. I mean, the background is a nice effect, but you don't want to take it over your dashboard. And so things like color also are important to consider because, you know, I selected a white background here just because it's it's easier for it to blend in with, with everything. If I used a, a black background, then I'd have to go through and, you know, change all my font potentially change some of these charts because you know let's say if I, if I use the a blue background right that might clash with these blue charts they might not stand out as much right so you you need to consider the color as well as the complexity of your photo now one way around this what you could do is if you've got an image that you want to use maybe consider editing it um, before using it so something you could do is either lighten the image so it's not as not strong so so it'll be easier to blend in or you can also adjust the transparency of it so that way um, again it's it's more subtle and it fades into the background uh, a bit easier right and so that way it's a lot easier to to use any kind of image at that point as long as you adjust the transparency make it lighter and um, that way you avoid having to change all your charts just to accommodate that image another thing also to important to remember is that um, you know depending on the image you use you, you want to consider the size of it because if you add an image that's you know several mega megabytes large then your excel file is going to contain that image and it's going to be larger so it may not be optimal at that point to um, to, to share the file send it via email and um, you know do you do things you normally would easily sending a file back and forth because you have a simple uh, dashboard or spreadsheet but you've added a complex background to it that's that's fairly large you know that can make the file unnecessarily large so one thing to keep uh, keep in mind when you're selecting an image so once you've selected the image and if you decide okay you don't you don't like it what you can do is click the delete background button and it disappears you can go back to adding a, a different background if you want so I would suggest editing your photos and using ones that you um, and made modifications to just because you can make them more uh, customizable to your, to your dashboard. If you're just using something off the Bing image search, um, you know, you're getting a, a whole wide variety of images that may or may not um, be suitable for your dashboard. They may be too bright, maybe too dark. You know, you'll probably need to edit them in most cases, unless again, you use for something really minimal, like a white background, like I used in my example. But if you want something that uh, stands about a stands out a bit more then consider editing it first and then when you're selecting the background you know select uh select the image from a file that you've modified and put it into here and that'll probably be a, a better option than using one from the bing image search but as you can see a lot of different ways where you can customize the look and feel of your dashboards you know whether you're adding an image you're changing the colors the fonts or the themes you know, it doesn't have to be um, a lot of work to, to make these changes. And by doing them, you know, you can make your dashboard stand out a little bit more than they normally would. Hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.